In April 1919, a lone US-built M1917 light tank climbed over 11,000 feet up a mountain in Colorado. Today, we're following on from our earlier video on the US-built M1917 light tank, a licensed copy of the French Renault FT. Be sure to check that out if you haven't already. We're lucky enough to have some original photographs and even some footage of the tank climbing up Pikes Peak in the Rocky Mountains. So why was the tank driving up a mountain? Simply put, it was a publicity stunt to help raise cash to pay off America's war debt. By 1919, the cost of US involvement in World War I had reached $32 billion. That's around $547 billion today. The purpose of the stunt was to encourage Americans to purchase Victory Liberty Bonds, which would help pay off some of the debt accrued by the war. This was the fifth and final round of Liberty Bond sales. The drive began in early spring 1919 and aimed to sell around $4.5 billion worth of US government bonds. The tank arrived in Colorado Springs at the beginning of April and on the 14th a crowd of nearly a thousand people watched Mrs. W.H.R. Stoat, the chairwoman of the Colorado Springs Victory Liberty Loan Committee, christen the tank Little Zeb after the explorer Brigadier Zebulon Pike who led an expedition which attempted to climb the mountain in 1806. Mrs. Stoke reportedly declared, I charge you with making the trip to the summit, as the victory loan shall not fail. You must make it to the top. The tank's commander, Sergeant Worrell, told the Colorado Springs Gazette that he had driven tanks over trees and trenches on the Western Front, and I'm betting we get to the top. At the time, the 19-mile road up to Pikes Peak Summit was said to be the highest motor drive in the world with the summit at 14,115 feet, or 4,302 metres. Corporal Howard Brewer, the tank's driver, told reporters, I know we can climb it. Given time, the tank could go to the top of the world. In terms of publicity, having the tank make it up to the top of the mountain would certainly have been quite a feat. In this photo, we can see on the front of the tank the words, Pike's Peak or Bust, have been painted in white on the driver's hatch. This is a reference to a phrase coined by prospectors during the Pikes Peak Gold Rush in the 1860s. The tank was driven by Corporal Brewer and tended by a crew of mechanics and support vehicles. The road which climbed the mountain was unsurfaced and had only been completed in 1916. The tank's ascent began on April 15th and incredibly over the next two days the tank climbed to 11,440 feet, 13 miles along the road and through deep snowdrifts, reported to be up to 20 feet tall, before finally a track plate snapped. But after repairs, the tank and the support convoy pressed on, but the tank never made it to the summit. Not because of mechanical failure, but unbelievably because it was needed to appear in other Colorado towns as part of the victory loan drive. While the tank may not have reached the top of the mountain, it unsurprisingly became a record breaker, setting the first elevation record for tanks. Western Union claimed that it also set a distance record for continuous distance travelled and penetrated the farthest into snow than any vehicle had ever done so at that time of year. While the US Bill M1917 was never tested in battle, the drive up the mountain proves that it was a capable, hardy vehicle, certainly demonstrating the tank's abilities. Thanks for watching guys, please check out our earlier tank videos, including our detailed look at the M1917 and the US's other World War I tanks. If you enjoy our videos, please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Tab is an entirely viewer supported channel and your help is very much appreciated. The easiest way to support the channel is to like the videos and share them with friends. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.